So what is difference between latch and flip-flop? In this presentation, we are going to find out the answer for this common question in digital electronics. The circuit here, you can see, is a familiar one to you. We have already discussed it. It is your SR latch, okay? There is no control input given to it. And uh, in this case, when there is no control input, the inputs S and R can be changed accidentally or intentionally. Therefore, this circuit is not suitable for use. So we need to introduce a control input by which we can decide that when we have to change S or R so that our output Q and Q complement will be stored until we have to use it. So let's see how we can introduce a control input to this circuit we need two more NAND gates for this purpose. The first NAND gate will go here and the output of this NAND gate will connect to the S. The second NAND gate will go here and the output of this will connect to R. Okay. Now let's see what are the inputs of these two NAND gates. There is one common input to the gates and it is your control input. Okay. The other input for this first NAND gate is your S now and uh, I will call this S star okay and the second input to this NAND gate is now R and I will call it as R star the working of the circuit we will see in the next presentation when we will discuss S R flip-flop but for now you need to know the difference between the latch and the flip-flops so let me tell you one thing this circuit that I made can be used as a latch as well as a flip-flop. Let's see how we can use this circuit for the latch. The only thing that decides whether the circuit is acting as a latch or as a flip-flop is this control input. If this control input is not a clock, just enable EN, enable. Whenever this is high, the latch will operate. Okay. So when this is enable, it means that it is what? It is level triggered it is sensitive to the level triggering okay what i mean is that let me draw first enable if enable is something like this i have taken a random enable signal then this circuit will be operational when the enable is high for this period for this period and for this period and the circuit will not be operational when the enable is low for this period for this period and for this period it's a very simple thing whenever this is the case it will act as the latch okay now what happened in the case of flip-flops but before actually going to the flip-flops let me first explain you why this circuit is operational when the enable is high it's very simple if I write the value for s star then it will be s complement or en complement so if the value of en is equal to 1 okay which means s star is equal to s complement and when the value of en is equal to 0 or when it is low the value of s star is equal to what 1 similarly r star will also be equal to 1 because enable is given as the input to both of this NAND gate and in whenever there is SR latch with NAND gate 1 1 is what your memory so whatever the value or the state is stored in this latch is, is stored until we will change EN so that's why we call it SR latch with controlled input okay so this is the working for this and uh, this case when there is enable uh, we will call it as latch now let's see when the circuit will act as the flip-flop it will act as flip-flop when we are having clock clock in place of enable so the clock you already know in the last presentation the working for the clock the duty time cycle is 50 percent for the clock this is your clock but it will be flip-flop only when there is the triggering we call as the edge triggering which means when the clock goes from low to high or high to low during this period only the circuit is operational and in that case we call it as the flip-flop so at the last I want to give the conclusion for the difference between the latch and the flip-flop the conclusion is that latch is level sensitive okay whenever there is input it will check the input 
okay if it is enabled okay but in case of flip-flop it will check for the input and the circuit will be operational only when the clock is changing from high to low or from low to high so this is the difference between the ledge and the flip-flop i hope you got it in the next presentation we will start with our sr flip-flop because now we are having everything that we require to move on with our flip-flop so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one